Okay. Mm -hmm. My name is William Lamnick, and today I will talk to you about why the personas are very useful mm -hmm. in public speaking. Very often times, one of the most important things in the public speaker is to relate to the audience, so the audience should be able to relate to you. And oftentimes, I'm afraid it's very easy, it's very easy to categorize people. When people, you have first impressions, and people really want to have a good, you want to have a good first impression. And so by able to have one of these personas that people almost instantly latch on to, if it's a good persona, that's very good, important. How many of you have ever seen, like, a, a, a sleazy salesman? He, you instantly, if he's fast talking and he's really energetic, he's really, like, in your face and is, like, really pressures you, and high pressure salesman and all that, you have that instant. It doesn't matter if it could be his, really, it's a doctor who's trying to make sure that you're selling, uh, he's, like, you really need to have this operation here. You immediately think fast-paced salesman, oh, he's really, really just trying to get me to have this expensive operation. I don't really need this. Or, you know, you could have a, a beggar. This guy's like, ah, if only, if only, if only we could have a little bit more money, I'm afraid. But then we could really, really get this product off the ground, and, you know, really it would be a great help to us, and everything like that. And unfortunately, though, if you have that persona, people, even if you're just like, we need this funding, so therefore we can cure cancer, it still will come off improper. But if you have, like, a confidant, if your doctor says, like, now then, all this is strictly professional, everything you say, does it come past this? If it comes off a cross like that, then instantly people are very easily able to relate to you. I have like a friend of mine who is very playful and cheerful and a little rambunctious. And what he does in order to help people deal with his like hyperactivity is he carries around clowns. So whenever he gets really jumpy and he puts on the clown nose, and suddenly everything he does is like, oh, it's a, it's a clown. Same way for this, if you have the adopt these personal moments, if you adopt the CEO, people, even when you're talking and you don't quite have it, as long as you act like a CEO, your communications, will, people will put it in, oh, he's a CEO. Now that doesn't mean necessarily you have to wear the turtleneck and walk around in a big black platform and just tell everybody that you're a uh, company is going to change the world the third time this year. Mm -hmm. But, having the right persona, 